Naruto. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Navalo. We're here in the state of Nevada getting set for what should be a wonderful day of golf. Wolf Creek Golf Club is the site for the action. And Frank, this really is the definition of desert golf. It is spectacular. The green oasis, Rich, amongst this canyon here is just something to be seen, really. Uh, it's hard to imagine you can actually build a golf course like this. Elevated tees, huge changes in elevation, and you're sort of weaving your way around this magnificent sort of topography. And uh, to be honest, I've never really seen a golf course like this. It's just an oasis. Amazing. What a great shot. This is when the game is fun, Frank, when you get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and you just watch it stays in the air forever. Be the hang time on that. That is classy. Well, the chunks are going in. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. No problems early. Looks good. It does look good. Uh, this bodes, bodes well. We might, be, uh, we might be in for a very, very low round today. Frank, there's so many impressive holes here at Wolf Creek, but the second really stands out. Yeah, that tee box, is it nine stories high? It's hard to imagine you can tee up that high, and obviously trying to judge distance is one thing, but uh, also the just the visual that you get. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good looking shot. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Beautifully done. Nice birdie. All right, Frank, describe the third hole. Well, it's a par three with a bit of a tabletop green, Rich. Um, some bunkers right and left of that, but uh, also it's going to play a little bit further. Uh, this tee shot is uphill, unlike the uh, opening two holes. So a three here, and that certainly won't hurt the uh, scorecard. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Just five feet left. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Back to the tee here at Wolf Creek. A lot of sand along the right side of this fairway leading up to the green, Frank. 
Yeah, I can't even count how many bunkers they've got down that right side. Uh, it's easy to see we not to go. So obviously you want to get that ball up on that left side. Uh, and then really it's, it's just a short pitch across. Yeah, this hole's only 383 yards and it won't even really play its distance. But uh, of course you've got to be careful. It's not long, but fairway first once again here. You can see all the problems around there if you do miss this fairway. the flag stick from that man Par yesterday now for birdie and he has it a good putt redeems all we're in the desert partner I need water you're gonna get it here rich par five second I has got a nice stream that runs down the left side as well as cutting the fairway there's a crop of uh, some three bunkers down that right side. So I want to avoid that, but, you know, Rich, this hole isn't too long. Under 500 yards, not even going to play that long. So very reachable. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. That was a solid strike and a good result. Getting set now over the putt. Nice backspin. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300 yard drives and miss three foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy. And that's the agony. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Now, just when you thought they might pick up one. Now, settle for a par. Just a couple of feet. Has his par. Frank, standing on the 6th tee and looking out at this golf course, I can't help but think that if you hit it offline here, you're, you're going to be playing golf with the billy goats. Uh, yeah, you might actually turn into a billy goat come the end of the day, that's for sure. The huge elevation changes once again are apparent here at the 6th. Uh, it is a dog leg to the right, um, not really a driver unless you want to sort of uh, bring that creek into play or that little stream that cuts across. Second shot, a little bit uphill. Um, those bunkers are really where you shouldn't go, we all know that. And this green is anything other than flat. Uh, a fun looking hole too, and a fun hole to play. Uh, this looks like it's gonna find the target. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. As this putt for birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Well, everybody loves the short par four. And here we have one, Frank, just 302 yards, the seventh hole. And this hole is anything other than straightforward, Rich. Uh, huge drop off at the front of the screen that is surrounded by water. So it's going to be a layup off the tee, really, to try and get the right yardage. This green is very, very, uh, it's not very deep, but it's extremely wide. The hardest thing is to try and get a flat lie with uh, whatever club you decide to hit off the tee and get the right yardage. 
Otherwise, that green actually might be a little elusive, even though this is a very short hole. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. If you hit enough shots, every now and again, one's going to go in. Crazy, crazy game. Don't think this hit. Frank, the eighth here Thank at for the announcement. Mesquite, Nevada is really the signature par three, isn't it? I'd go so far, Rich, to say this is a great par three. Uh, doesn't matter where it was played, the stream that sort of comes all the way down there and, and surrounds the left side of this green makes this hole really daunting. Logic would say if you're going to miss the green, obviously you'd miss it to the right, but uh, it's just a beautiful hole. And then you put the, the fact that the canyon frames the whole hole itself. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Set to round out the front side here at Wolf Creek with a par four. Fun hole for the big hitter, too. They can really take advantage of this. The last fairway bunker down there on, on the right side is just over 300 yards to get over it. And uh, longer hitters could nearly drive it in the green side bunker on the right. So just tee it up there. Um, you playing desert golf for a reason. Enjoy it. Just have a little flick in here. Chance, too, to have a little birdie at the end of your front nine. Second shot. Good look at the green. Seems to like it. Landed for the fat part of the green. That is a really good shot landing close to the flag stick. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. In the hole for a birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18 hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power, though? Rich, that is annihilation of a golf ball. Absolutely love it. I mean, he just just tore that thing to pieces. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Oh Terrific golf shot. And now... That for an easy birdie. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Really solid strike. On to the 11th hole, we're looking downhill, 215 yards to the green. And this is one of the holes that uh, you realize you're at Wolf Creek. You would never see this hole anywhere else in the world. It's amazing when you stand on this tee. You see all of the canyons around, but there is a little green area down there. 
uh, with surrounded by a couple of bunkers. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking par three. It measures 215 yards, very playable. And you never know, today might be the day where you make birdie. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. These putts keep the round together. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Par 5, 12, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It can. Water down the left, uh, that'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable in two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. Outstanding tee shot. The yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Second shot. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Pure strike. Good result. Right, and that is close. And his third here at the par five. Wow. Nate Siegel makes everybody else look sort of average, Frank. And look at the size of that lead on the leaderboard now. 13th hold here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to take this one over the trees. But very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's going to be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as a dogleg right. So the direct line, well, I don't want to tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though, and you're not quite sure on the outcome. I'm my Bradshaw number. Shout out. And my first year New York Giants. He was on our Super Bowl team. So, yeah. Our second one. So, yeah. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Frank, it's one thing to jumpstart your round. This would ignite the round. Yeah, you don't normally see two par fives back to back, so the chances of having consecutive eagles is, is so rare. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. So a tester from four feet. Frank, we have said it over and over. Another birdie. 14th hole here at Wolf Creek. Time to pull out the driver and, as well, the foam because you want to take some pictures here. Yeah. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers. Three really in play with the tee shot, as you can see. The other three just up by the green. 
Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred, unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. And green should be fairly receptive, and three distinct portions, which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek. That's sort of uh, three different tier levels in that. But let's see, birdies that'll be made at Wolf Creek, maybe even one here. should be pretty good right there. On the safe side, midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Touch. Nice putt. Here at the 15th hole here at Wolf Creek, bit of a breather here. Nice short par three. You don't want to miss this green. No, that's that's the temptation there. If you try and bite off a little too much because it looks a little too easy, then a bogey here and you're in a bad mood all of a sudden at Wolf Creek. Frankie's knocking them down and picking them up. Oh, it's just taking pins out one after the other. Shouldn't be a problem here. Nice backspin. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Clean this up with a tap. Workman-like hole, he walks away with a par. Now to the 16th hole, and Frank, another good scoring chance. If you can avoid the confusion off the tee, it looks like the hole might be a dog leg, then is it a carry? Um, it meanders from one way to the other, but really when you actually break the hole down, it's virtually straight ahead. Those two bunkers uh, in the driving distance, they frame the hole nicely, so play it as a straightaway par four. It should sit up beautifully for just a little short iron and perhaps a birdie opportunity. Frank just continuing to make the game look easy. This just shortens the whole golf course up when you can hit it that far. All right, Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 16? Well, a good tee shot that sort of uh, split those two fairway bunkers should leave you a relatively, what looks like a straightforward short iron shot in. Um, distance control paramount once again here at 16, because this green has a lot of subtle undulations in it. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. From about eight feet. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. So two holes left to play. Now the final par five on the course, 562 yards, the 17th. The drive looks relatively straightforward. And I say that because there's a little creek down there that obviously you have to stay short of. But that's the fun part. They want to keep you back in an area where you go, can I hit the second shot across the stream, across the water, and still keep it on the green? The answer is, I don't know. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's gonna have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't wanna get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Yeah. 
Good looking shot right here. Well, that's how you do it. Hit it close, take the pressure off that putt. That one should be no problem. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Are you kidding me? That looked like it was on. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 18th hole, and Frank, again, a good scoring opportunity. Short par four. If you looked at the scorecard, you'd think you could drive this green, but uh, one quick look at the trouble in front and to the right of the screen, and you realize that's probably not the prudent play. Really, something 230, 240 yards off the tee in that vicinity is going to leave you uh, just a flick wedge into this green. It is a rather narrow green, but uh, from that distance, you expect to hit it close. Tasty looking right there from just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. So the final approach shot here at Wolf Creek Golf Club, Frank, you want to make it a good one. A good drive, just a short wedge in here. Everything slopes back towards the player. Relatively skinny green that sort of does slope left to right. You judge that pitch shot, ideally you'd like to hit it in a little low, try and bounce it towards the flag maybe with a little bit of spin on the tail end of it, get the crowd happy. Frank, from the Middle East to here in Nevada, you've played desert golf around the world. What does it feel like? I mean, it's fun. Uh, it's an oasis. Normally just the drive to a golf course. You, you, you're trying to imagine, no, there can't be a golf course around here. Where could it be? You know, where all of a sudden is one going to pop up? And then over a mountain you go and you go, there, there it is, a green oasis. And, uh, and the other thing about desert golf, they look so perfect in amongst that because the backdrop around really makes the golf course itself pop. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Nudge this one home, finish it up. In for par. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly going to come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. Shout out to the NFL 100 season starting in a couple of days this week. It's September 5th, 2019. Today is September 3rd, 2019. And it's the 2019-2020 season for the NFL. And the game um, is with the Packers and the Bears. Division game. Exciting. It's fun. And yeah, start the NFL 100 season. About to be very uh, amazing. So yeah. And also shout out to NBA 2K 2020 coming out this week also on December 6th, 2019. And it's three days. And three days today is September 3rd, 2019. And that's going to be exciting and amazing. And also a month from that, a month from then, Supergirl Season 5 is going to start on October 6th, 2019. And that's going to be exciting 
that's gonna be amazing and uh, pretty fresh it's gonna be it's gonna be fresh too um so yeah and that's one month and three days from now today's september 3rd 2019 so we go season five starts on october 6th 2019 so yeah and with all that being said 17 hours so over and out